Hi guys. How are we doing today? I'm um I'm not great. I am so sorry that I keep starting streams that way, but I'm not gonna lie about the things that are happening to me and I'm not gonna lie about how I feel. Um It's good to see you all. It's really good to see you guys. Thank you for coming. I I I don't know if we're gonna be doing creepy stuff today. I don't know if we if we find something that we want to cover, we might. But uh, for today, I just kind of feel like talking about how I feel and uh, hanging out with chat and having a, having a good distracted time. Um, so first, I just I want to say uh, in case um, in case any of you don't have Twitter or follow me on Twitter or or whatever uh, my cat is sick my cat that I've had for like I, I want to say like 12 years now he's 16 um, he he's really sick he might have cancer we can't know without spending two thousand dollars and even if we did spend that two thousand dollars it would be putting him in a, risk that he might not survive putting him at risk that he might not survive um and the treatment that he's getting uh is something that would treat that cancer anyway basically what it comes down to is my cat either has like really bad ibs that needs medicated or he has intestinal cancer um those two conditions need exactly the same treatment so we're just going with treatment and I don't get to know whether or not my cat has cancer until either he gets sicker or he gets better. Um, and that is going to take months. And if it's cancer, he's just gonna be getting worse and going through more and more pain. And that's like, that's my baby. I'm like, I'm coming up on an age where I am not going to be able to have babies anymore soon. And this is, I know that this isn't the same as somebody's human baby, but to me it is. Uh, and I know that that sounds crazy, but it isn't to me. Um, I feel like, I feel like people only understand this feeling when they've lost a pet, you know? Hey, Dark Raven, thank you so much for following the channel. Normally I do a fun, cute thing when people follow the channel, but I don't have it in me today. I'm sorry. I'm I'm very worried and distressed about my cat. We do need to focus on the positive things though, because the vet said that his blood worked his I'm sorry, I'm trying to not cry. <laughs> Talk about this. Um the vet said that his blood work looked really good and that his behavior sounded ideal. Uh, so that's really good. Uh, they said that his blood work was beautiful for any cat, let alone a senior cat, like a cat of his age, like that it was like remarkable. So that's really nice to know. Um, but he's going to be on medicine for the foreseeable future. It's, uh, it's hard. It's really hard. And I, that's just what I had to do with my, my day. That's what I had to do with my day today was go find out that maybe my cat has cancer and there isn't anything that I can really do about it, you know? Uh, <laughs> I feel like such an idiot for crying on the internet, but like, sincerely, I'm going to be a broken mess when, when it's his time. Um... I just am not ready for it to be right now. <laughs> uh, okay. Couple deep cleansing breaths. Um, Alec, that is really sweet. That is a really sweet thing to say. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you guys for being understanding and like cool about it. Uh, I, I, my IRL friends the last time that I lost a cat were such dicks about it <laughs> and it has really it has made me so 
insecure about being worried about my pets, but like, I just, do you not love your pets? Or like, I don't understand. I don't understand when people are like, you're being such a fucking crybaby about like losing a permanent fixture in your life of the past 15 or more years, you know? I have no children, but I love her more than imaginary children. Exactly, AJ. I'm in the same, I'm in the same boat. I'm in the same boat. Uh, anyway, yeah, I, I don't know. I thought maybe I would, um, like do my makeup and try to look nice, but really all it did was make tears visible. <laughs> so if you catch one, could you just not say anything? <laughs> That would be great because I'm already feeling so insecure right now. Uh, and and I promise I'll still I'll try to be a fun boy. I, I promise we'll we'll try to be a fun time today. Um, with that, I'm OK with if, if you guys want to do uh, we could look at some Reddit. We could we could do a couple of like meme reactions or whatever feel like I would be wasting that content on being in this mood. Of course, asking my pet died a week ago. No, and it hit me hard. If I can be here to help or support someone through, I'll be here. It's so shit that people don't take your valid feelings seriously. Alec, thank you. Genuinely, the way that the way that you guys are talking, it just it feels it makes me feel so much less crazy, which is like a lot better. Thank you. Um, thank you. <laughs> I, I don't really know what else to say uh I, so anyway if you guys if you guys have um anything that you feel like you really want to do today please let me know uh otherwise I I am down to just you guys AMA just talk talk to me tell me things that you feel like talking about ask me questions that you want me to answer um even if I can't answer them I, I will address them. Um, if you, if you guys want, we could do, we could do discord calls, uh, and you guys can hop in and talk to me while I'm crocheting. Um, Dark Raven, thank you. Truly. And uh, by the way, that this is Dark Raven's first time in chat. Everybody, please make sure that Dark Raven feels welcome. Um, another really cool piece of news dad feels followed us that's fucking crazy that's amazing we love dad we love dad like dad loves true value I've become so emotionally attached to my cat that I can honestly say if it wasn't for my cat I would have uh, committed the great eject years ago Didi I feel that way sometimes too but I feel like I I definitely feel like knowing that he would not have me anymore has been the deciding factor in that decision a lot of times I'm with you uh, I but for for what it's worth I, if that's true of you then I'm very thankful for your kitty too well I'm smoking bowls of cat and I've been reading D&D &D books AJ I sent you I sent you a message on Discord. You should you should check you should check Discord. Um no pressure if if you are not into either checking Discord or the thing that I said, but you should you should check. Hey, what's your Discord? Uh my Discord is are you ready? It's h t t p s colon forward slash forward slash discord dot g g forward slash fart slide the word fart and the word slide all crunched into one um thank you and marry me oh we got a wiccan in chat boys fucking love me a wiccan i like it when people give a shit about mother earth so that's my jam that's my whole jam um, I will be partaking in some catnip of my own because I'm having a really hard time holding it together and I think this might even me out a little bit. Um, I like, uh, you can tell just by looking at me that I've been a mess all day. You can tell I've been crying. I feel awful. I'm so sorry. 
And what's worse is that he might not even he might not even have cancer. And like I might just be making like stressing myself out over nothing. Good, Dee Dee. I'm happy to hear that. Um, I'm happy to hear that. Please, I hope you know that uh, if you never come back to chat, I will feel the same way. I need you to know, okay? Accountability of buddies now. Um, all right. All right, everybody. I'm going to go ahead and start crocheting unless there's anything that anybody... The video idea met? Yeah. Yeah. Are you into that? You don't have to talk about it here if you don't want to. I'm sorry. I'm being a fucker. Uh, but I think it would be very fun if you are if you are into it. Okay. Putting away my keyboard and we can get to work. This scarf ain't gonna crochet itself. <gasps> I just almost fucking like baseball swung my keyboard at my fucking webcam it would have sent it flying that would have been awful very tired my shoulder is sore and i'm stuck at work for another 20 minutes oh thank goodness it's only 20 minutes it's the first time anyone replied to my comments and it made my day and i still haven't forgotten wait you absolutely won't remember this but i was the one who left all those awful puns when you were playing don't starve shipwrecked you're right. I'm so sorry that I don't remember, but I do. I care a lot about my chat. I really like. I I think that it's really neat that people come in here and like go through the effort of typing messages to me. I think that that is just great. I thought that it was great, even when I had like a billion deep people coming in and out all the time. It's it's neat. It's really cool that people care what little old me has to say about little old anything, you know? Um, makes me feel good. So I'm glad. I'm really glad that uh, I could help to make you feel the same way that you made me feel. It makes, makes me feel exactly the same way when people go through the effort of just typing something to me. I think that that's really nice. There are good wholesome plans. I'm so excited, AJ. Don't hesitate to let me know what I can do to um, support in plan building or carrying out thereof. It was years ago. I don't expect you to remember. I do still. I like it feels, you know, how it feels just like a tinge guilty when somebody remembers a thing fondly. And you don't remember it? Like, it, it, it feels like it, it, you're a whole human being with thoughts and feelings and perspective. And I just, like, knowing that, it, one, you made an effort to make me a part of that. And, two, that, like, I influenced that at one point. It makes me feel a little bit bad that I don't remember it. Um, and, and I promise to not let it, like, ruin my night or anything. But, um... Yeah, there's just always going to be, like, a shade of guilt there, you know? I've been watching your videos since high school, and now here I am procrastinating on college work. Time is wild. Well, congratulations on being in college. That's huge. Uh, I hope I hope that you are liking it. I hope you're excelling. And if you're not, I hope you know that that doesn't mean you're any less worthwhile of a person. The VIP list for me running games and putting them online. Ooh, ooh. I thought of, I don't want to say it out loud right now, but I thought of a really good idea for a character that I really, really want to do soon. Well, just magic arrows. I want to be a ranger that shoots arrows that do magic. Um, but like there's a deeper idea behind it. I'll be going gonzo with it. Fuck yeah. 2020's Doxy still goes off. <laughs> I don't I don't know if I want to know what that means. I do I do a whole lot of grandstanding, that's for certain. I definitely people know how I feel and what I think about things. That is definitely true. I don't 
I don't like to be around people that I find immoral. <laughs> and my first placement soon for a film company. That's so exciting. Are you going to be back end stuff or are you going to be in front of a camera? Are you in, in school for acting? Let's go ahead and get to crocheting. I'm also going to take a quick sip here. Never mind my... I, I have such a colorful situation going on with this like bleh, brown gray <laughs> color behind it. We've got purple, pink, or well, yellow, pink, purple, green, and gray, brown. Is <laughs> Can't drink a lid, guys. I don't know if you guys know how to drink water from containers, but you have to open them first. I've just learned. I've quietly cut a lot of people out of my life because of their choices when it comes to what is right. Yeah, I, I, I do that all the time and I'll tell them. I'll, or, well, not quietly. I don't, I, I don't go quietly. I, um, I don't think that it's wrong of people to ghost people. I don't think that like it does, it sucks when it happens to us when we get ghosted. Um, but I don't think that the person ghosting is like wrong. Uh, hi. For Imaginator, everybody, the cheese man. For Imaginator Sparkler, behold, I am here. That's my guy right there. Thank you so much for resubbing, Jesse. I appreciate you. Okay, I'm gonna put this down. Um, how's how's the music compared to my voice and stuff, guys? Currently finding all the spells that require LOS. So I can avoid them when I make a blind wizard line of sight. Okay, I was like, I was like, what is LOS? Um, I'm in school for media production. I'll hopefully be editing. I've cut a few people out of my life because I couldn't figure out how to drink out of a normal container. Quinn Kenobi is cruising for a bruising. He's trying to get me real violent, guys. Everybody sick him. <laughs> Um, Alec, if you, uh, if you ever want to work on something together, let me know. I, um, I can't, I cannot afford to pay a full-time editor right now, but I, uh, I'm hoping that, oh, What do you awful women want? What do you awful women want? Underscore no underscore name hosting. Get out, go. Viewers. Just kidding. I'm just kidding. Welcome, everybody. Thank you so much for coming over and for raiding. Reaper is a treasure. It's good to see you. How are you? Gecko the Ace, welcome. Um, I'm just having a bit of a cry at chat right now. I'm trying to not. It's just, it's really hard. My kitty is sick and it might be cancer and I'm very sad and scared. Even going to the vet didn't really answer any questions. So uh, it was just hard. Uh, so that's why everything is awkward and weird right now. I apologize for my thoughts and feelings. Um, I'm in the middle of saying something. Random thought, I wonder if you could green screen out the background of your crochet setup. Could make some hilariously trippy looking crochet strings. Yeah, that would be fun. Oh no, I hope they're okay. Yeah, me too, dude. I'm, I'm a wreck. Absolutely, I would. I'd do it for free if you'd allow me to use it towards my portfolio. Alec, hit me up on Discord. Hit me up on Discord. I, th I might have um, an exciting opportunity for you, actually. Do you have, do you have any work that you could show me? Uh, I've caused you to start getting crochet recommendations. I'm so sorry. Oh my goodness, AJ. That's really nice. You guys are always so sweet to me. Also, I'm sorry that I just have generic Christmas YouTube alerts right now, but I did figure out, well, 
really, Josiah's beautiful, amazing, big, smart brain figured out how to do um, YouTube alerts on stream elements. Neither one of us knew, and we were like, uh, and like just kind of had to watch chat to see if anything happened. Um, this is actually very fortuitous to hear of this editor, right, Quinn? That's exactly, I think that you're thinking the exact same thing that I'm thinking. Hey, now we know the exchange rate for $10 and half the money. I didn't even, I, I almost never even look at how much it is. Because I don't want, I don't want anybody who donates like two bucks or whatever to feel like it doesn't matter. So like, it's always just a nice surprise. I feel bad when like, I do notice how much it is. And like, if it's a big amount, like doing a big, huge reaction after somebody donated like three dollars and i'm just like thank you so much and like then move past it you know what i mean like you never know you never know how to be gracious when people are giving you money it's hard um but i appreciate i appreciate every single every single piece of support that you guys give me monetarily and not monetarily i just i love that you guys are here hanging out existing in a venn diagram that crunches butts with mine gun lover it's so good to see you how are you hi okay i buy you a reasonable burger you know exactly the way to my heart it sounds like um anyway we were talking about cutting people out of our life for uh, having different morals. I always tell somebody. I always tell somebody when I don't want to see them anymore. Um, because I think that I would want to know. Um, not to say that I think ghosting is wrong. I think that ghosting is a way that a lot of us uh, stay safe when we're cutting somebody out of our lives and I think that whatever um, doesn't cause trauma for you is what you got to do. If you have it in you to talk to somebody and give them an opportunity to uh, change or fix a behavior that's upsetting you, then I think that that's, of course, the best moral move. But if you can't, then, you know, that's a hard thing to do. That's a hard thing to do. And um, some people just can't. And maybe even sometimes we make friends that are friends that make us feel like we can't upset them or like that could be a dangerous thing to do and ghosting is the only option there and I don't think that there's anything wrong with that and I don't ever want to presume how somebody feels about me uh and if anybody ever ghosts me I don't want to message them and be like yo what the fuck homie because what if I made them feel unsafe and I'm just like making them feel unsafe some more? It's the last thing that I want over somebody that I care enough that I would notice that they're ghosting me, you know? A lot of the people I've cut out know exactly what they were doing. Yeah, I'd, and I'm, I'm not trying to talk shit. Not trying to talk shit. Just trying to say how I feel about the subject. I recently ghosted someone just too much bullshit he was bringing to the table. Yeah, I think that that's a perfectly fucking viable option, dude. That darn Batman. Hello, everyone. I hope you all are having a good day. I hope you are having a good day. That darn Batman. Welcome. I think sometimes, not always, some people ghost as a weird manipulation tactic, though. Kind of like a digital silent treatment. A uh, hundo P, Sleep Ninja. I don't think it's, like, a cool thing to do. But, like, I also think that when somebody's in the position where they feel like that's what they have to do, they're probably not feeling so cool about the situation either. Okay, see you later, Kyle. Have a good one. Thanks for hanging out. Like the kid that called me the F-slur and called it a joke. Yeah, that's not a joke. That's not fun. Sonic, thank you so much for following my channel. Uh, normally, I do a really cute little hi, welcome, you make me feel good thing, but it's just I don't have it in me today. I'm sorry. I am appreciative of you coming here and following and showing support. It's nice. It's very nice. Um, sorry, one moment, guys. I'm 
Okay. Um. Sorry, I just had to look at numbers, some number stuff. I'm team ghost for a terrifying fear of confrontation. I wanted to chime in earlier, but I was midst battle with the second last boss of Elden Ring on my third run. Now just the final boss remains. Jeez, haven't even beaten it the first time yet. Did not know about that follow command. Yeah. As a social media worker, I just default to ghosting people because I am dealing with 2,000 messages per day. So I try to keep up, but I have to stick to a very narrow band. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I definitely, definitely understand that. Back when I was much more successful, I was getting more messages than I could handle. And I had to say all the time, like, I am so sorry that I can't get to you. I never expected to receive this amount of um, interaction. Uh, but there, some of you, there is just no way that I can answer you. I still, to this day, um, sometimes get messages from random people that I do not know asking me if... Jose, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate you. Uh, people that I do not know and have never heard of asking me if I can, like, introduce them to Northern Lion or Indie Mouse. And I'm just like, bro, I haven't even spoken to either of them in years. I'm pretty sure that um, they don't even follow me on Twitter anymore. Like, I don't know. Like, I don't know. I haven't interacted with either of them in so long. Yo, Dasi, can you introduce me to PewDiePie? <laughs> yeah, I'll tweet him. You mean, you mean the Lickster? That's what I call him. Ol' Ol' Lickster? You know, it's you just drop the fee from Felix and add her at the end. You don't introduce me to the president, but uh, I would, but he's napping. Introduce us to the famous dungeon dad. I, well, I would do that, but you guys are prettier than me and I'm scared that he will uh, fall in love with you. <laughs> Doxy, can you introduce me to people and I will promise to not ghost them for at least 48 hours. I mean, I totally can if you really want me to, but all of these introductions are now starting to stress me out, so I'm gonna have to ghost y'all. I'm really sorry. <laughs> I'm really sorry. I, uh... Man, I'm very excited about um, maybe sitting at your table, AJ. That's really cool. I haven't been in a game in way too long. I miss very badly just the, uh, the kind of, <sighs> I hope I'm not an annoying cast member, but I really like being uh, kind of the comedic relief character. It's like my wheelhouse. I feel like, I feel like if I wasn't so desperately afraid of like failure and rejection that I would have probably gone into improv. Cause that's kind of what D&D &D is to me. It's like, it's improv with dice, hey? I, uh, I really, really like acting. Um, but I'm not great at it, so D and D it is. I run shorter game sessions. They are very sandboxy, so you get to do basically whatever the hell you want. I react to your actions in the world like a good DM. That's what I like to hear. I feel like that is very fun. I um do a full improv scene with yourself as two characters. I absolutely am not going to do that right now. I had such a bad day, you guys. <laughs> I'm really sorry. I just, I'm, I've been crying and 
I had like a shitty nap. It, I had a nightmare during my nap. Like legit fuck you universe. But I have a Thay adventure that I am very excited to run. I don't know what that means. I'm so sorry. I was once told by the theater teacher at my high school that she would love to have me in her creative writing class. Oh, that's so fun. Well, adventure implies a lot more prep and notes than I use in reality. You know what? We, we like ideas around here, okay? Ideas are fine. Also, are any of you, um, do any of you follow, like, BreadTube and, like, the, the political sphere, the debate bros and all them, the essayists? Does anybody, does anybody here know what's going on with the Vosh and ContraPoints thing? I, uh, I have opinions, but I also, I don't know what's going on, so I can't really weigh in on what's going on right now. Same except for stand-up comedy. Always wanted to do it, but just too scared of bombing, which inevitably happens to all comedians at some point or another. Yeah, Quinn, absolutely. I have written stand-up comedy routines. I've practiced them. I've never once signed up for an open mic night. Hi, Mog. How are ya? I love being stinky. That's me, definitely. That's that's cute and you're cute and I like it. Bro, I would have loved to do shit like debate, except for that, yeah, arguing is great. Matt, if you wanna have a formal debate sometime, you let me know. What did I jump into? I just, uh, I'm just having a rough day. Uh, uh, it's been a really hard day, my cat, might be dying, but he also might not, and I paid $400 for them to not give me answers, um, except for that, but he does have medicine that absolutely will make him more comfortable, uh, which is good news, at least. Bosch got into arguments with Cat Black via SMS recently over something he tweeted JK while she was being her typical turfy self. I don't know who Cat Black is. I do think that um, Vosh inserts himself into um, spaces that aren't really his to invade really and then acts like an asshole and makes the whole movement look worse like a lot i think that he does that a lot she's kind of a part of bread tube is she newer and my first DD game soon my character will kidnap goblins in their net just to carry them around for a bit also i will have a necklace of thumbs from fallen foes alec that's so fun you're gonna really like D&D. It's a good time. I'm unfamiliar with that sphere of the political circuit. Mine revolves around Andrew Heaton's political orphanage, which I've mentioned. I don't recall. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I don't know why, but I've gotten in the habit of calling friends stinky or steamky. It makes me chuckle. Or like doing it over streams generally. I love it. I think it's adorable. I think that that's so cute. I love the idea of me being stinky. I, I think that that's cute. I, I like legit wish that was my nickname. Like, I love that. I think that's so cute. I call everybody Buster. Um, anyway, yeah, I agree with a lot of what um, Vosh believes. I agree with a lot of his stances on things, but uh, I just, I have a hard time with him as a guy. She mentioned on Twitter that him using misogynistic speak in his tweets to her wasn't really helping trans folk. Shocker. How could that possibly be? And he DM'd her saying she should take the tweets down. Oh my gosh, AJ, thank you.
That's really nice. You guys are being so nice to me. I've been calling people homie, homie slice, name dog, name slice, stuff like homie docs, docs, homie, doc slice, all the combos. Yeah, you definitely have called me like all of those things. She laughed at him because she legit doesn't care though. Good. Totally not a little dice goblin hoarding dice sets I have no use for. I have a bunch of dice also, and I mostly play online, if it makes you feel any better whatsoever. Um, I really like playing online because I feel a tremendous amount of pressure to do math fast, and it sucks. <laughs> and it makes it, like, kind of takes away from the experience for me. So I really like playing online and having it be automated. Um, it would just be fun if I could still physically roll the dice because that is a nice feeling. The tactile feedback of rolling a set of dice, especially for something like sneak attack where you have like just a billion D dice is so fun. I designed dice and have them manufactured in China. That's, I didn't know that AJ, that's fucking sick. I got, did I ever tell you guys about the um, set of dice that I got scammed on? I'm really sad about it. I saw um, uh, an ad on Facebook one time for these dice that had like swirly glittery liquid inside that would like move when you rolled them. And it would, it would like swirl and like it, it glowed really nicely under the water. It was so cute looking. Um, But they got here and they were just not, they were not that at all. They were just like swirly sparkly dice that did not utilize an inner liquid. It broke my heart. I was really sad about it. Um, okay. It's Doxy again and I'm late again. No, that's okay. We're uh, we're not really doing anything in particular today. We're just kind of sitting and talking to one another. I, uh, I had a rough one. I had a rough day. And I just, like, I don't think that I would be able to keep my focus on a story. Were you able to get the money back? Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, I definitely was not. I did not even try because it came I, I, at the risk of sounding at the risk of sounding um, ignorant it came from an Asian site that was sketch as fuck uh, and I didn't realize at the time how sketch it was honestly I have a giant metal mood d20 that changes color as you hold it that's so fun that is so fun. What is that that does that? What is the heat sensitive thing that they use to make mood rings? Like what is the material? Is it like, is it, is there a specific rock or mineral or something that does that? Or do we utilize chemistry? Her channel is pretty interesting. I enjoy her perspective. This cat black lady. It's a polymer. Okay. One thing I love about the stream and you in general is the no bullshit stories and the chill vibes never change. Thank you. Yeah, I um I got really really sick. To be honest with you guys, it was YouTube that, that really did it to me. It was YouTube that really fucking did it to me. I got so sick of having to pretend to like people and things that I did not like. I got really sick of being stepped on um, for people to like utilize me to launch their careers and end up more successful than me by um, constantly talking over and smiling and laughing over other people um in incredibly fake and deceitful ways I, if i i'm telling you you guys all of your faves are problematic 
all of them, uh, we all suck. Like, just there's so much, there's so much stuff that goes on that is disingenuous. I think it expands with heat to reflect light in a certain way. Okay, that's really interesting. Um, but yeah, you guys would be surprised. It is so devastating to go into the chats of the people that I used to hang out with that are like really successful and see the people that used to come into my chats and watch them like give these people money when I've seen the people that they are giving money to say mean things directly about those like regular viewers and stuff it like it devastated me I like I couldn't do it anymore and uh and so I was like you know what fuck it I'm never gonna pretend I'm never gonna pretend uh I like okay some people are gonna not like me very much and they're gonna think that I'm obnoxious and people are definitely gonna get sick of hearing about my depression and people are definitely going to think that I am just a Debbie Downer who whines a whole lot, but that's who I am. And if uh, if they can't hang with that, then they can't hang with like me, the real me, the genuine me that exists without the desire for fame influencing that. Um, and that's, I just can't be on all the time. So I'm on none of the time. It's true I'm not an actual wizard, but I am a professional sage, like legit, the real deal. Okay, that's so unfortunate because I told everybody that you're an actual wizard. Guys, I'll have an apology video out tomorrow. I'm so sorry, I promise. No, I don't want to swing in to hear you feeling like this. I'm sorry. It's been a terrible day. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Just Googled what a doxy is. Much laughing and regret has ensued. <laughs> I like pirates. <laughs> Basic social rule. If you have to change for people to like you, then they don't like you. Yeah, exactly. Fuck it, it's fine. Okay, okay, I'm a wizard. Okay, well, now you just have to, like, be a section of my fucking... <laughs> of my apology video. <laughs> Man, now I really want you to watch Alan Tutorial and I'm Mary Mary, both unfiction projects about... Both unfiction projects about exactly what you're talking about. I am into doing more unfiction stuff. The only thing that sucks about it is that, like... Legitimately, you guys, I, I just am not very smart. I'm really good at talking. I'm really good at sounding confident. Um, and people mistake that for intelligence a lot. And I, I'm 1 million percent low int, high whiz, high charisma. Like that's just, that's my build. Uh, and, and so people like, I don't know, people think that I know things or whatever, but I am a slow learner. I have terrible, terrible focus problems. I, I just am not good at doing ARGs and stuff on my own. So that's why I only ever did them when Dungeon Dad could join me. And since he's been so busy lately, um, we just haven't really been able to do ARGs lately. I, I need other people with me because I will miss everything. Doxy's next video taking accountability or coming clean. Yeah. I dumped constitution to point by intelligence points. Yeah, I, that's that's me except for I did that with charisma. I And I did that in I was horribly bullied in uh, high school people to be fair i wasn't very nice to them either uh i like to think that they started it but who can really know unless you're looking directly into the past and i know that i'm a fucking unreliable narrator just that i can't stick around for you right now have a good stream we all care about you paco blue i care about you too the next time you hug somebody irl just hold them for an extra three seconds and pretend that it's a hug from me okay 
we don't have to tell them. It could be our little secret. <laughs> uh, but anyway, yeah, I um, I definitely I was poor. I like I had a single mom. I lived in a trailer. Um, I probably smelled like cigarettes all the time. Uh, yeah, it just it was uh, it's not a good look. I definitely I <laughs> I was aware that I was an outcast, and uh, I don't remember why I'm talking about this now. Oh right. So I decided, you know, if um, if people aren't gonna like me for like for the way that I look or the stuff that I have, then I should probably be really nice and really funny. And so I tried, and yeah, that's what happened. I guess I was able to develop a little bit like comedic timing or like. Um, I did read a lot to enhance my vocabulary because I think the vocabulary is a big, big part of being witty, hey? Having like just a nice repertoire of, of words that you can scroll through the mental Rolodex, you know? Careless Binky, welcome. Everybody make sure that Careless Binky feels welcome. This is their first time in chat. Um, we are making a basket weave stitch scarf. Uh, it's coming along really beautifully. I'm very pleased with the ombre, um, the way that it's landing on this scarf. It, I, it, if I may toot my own horn, I think that this looks absolutely beautiful so far. I think that it's a pretty masculine scarf too, which is nice because I feel like it's really hard to get a masculine look um, in a scarf. I feel like that's a challenge. That does look awesome so far. Thank you so much for all those videos. I'm telling you, your praise means more to me than most people because I've seen the stuff that you've made and it's really impressive. <laughs> Whoever said you can't choose your family was very wrong. I agree, Alec. I agree entirely. I, I'll tell you what, I do not talk to a lot of my family. I unfriended my anti-vaxxer cousin, Shannon. That's her real name. I don't give a fuck if she ever sees this fuck you Shannon I will always love you and like care about what's going on with you but like you do real harm to people and I don't want anybody to ever associate me with you I don't want to get close to your kids in case they die of fucking polio and uh I hope that I really hope that you change your mind like ASAP and that it's a wake-up call that your sane relatives won't fucking talk to you anymore you absolute fucking turd anyway sorry um there's a lot of people in my family that I don't really talk to anymore, but there are a lot of people that I've met outside of my family that I feel like I couldn't fucking live without. Uh, and I, those are the people that I choose to spend my time with, that I choose to put my energy into loving. Jokes on you, Shannon. I have 5G everywhere I go now. <laughs> She was an anti-vaxxer before COVID. So she's like extra stupid. She's also never had a fucking job in her life. Uh, not to say that if you don't work, you're worthless or whatever, but like she's just, she's very spoiled and very naive. The hipsters of anti-vax before it was cool. Yeah, yeah. No, I think she's a bad person. I think that she's a really bad person. I think that she does not think about anybody but herself. And uh, I find that to be utterly disgusting. I think that greed is the, that greed and self-centeredness are the worst, worst things that you can put forward. I concur with that, Madam Doxy. A proper assemblage of words and a commendable vocabulary proceeds to a plethora of successes. <laughs> You're such a fucking dork, and I live for it. 
I'm a first cousin who is like my direct polar opposite in every regard and we hate each other. Yeah, and you know what? That's fucking okay. That is super 100% a-okay. Fuck that cousin, I hate him too. Now I think it'd be fun if we started a political podcast since we agree socially and disagree economically so much, but maybe you just end up disliking me. Uh, I don't think that I would dislike you. I don't think that you're greedy is the thing, Quinn. I think that... I don't, I don't have any interest in doing a political podcast. Uh, listen, I, I know what I know. And what I know is that we only live once. And uh, that the meaning of life, yes, I know the meaning of life. And the meaning of life is to spread love and joy as far and wide as you can. Um, that it is not your job to look at what your neighbor has to compare to make sure that you have more. It's to make sure that your neighbor has enough. And I think that uh, when you have the means to be kind and you choose not to, that that is a grave sin. Um, now, that doesn't necessarily mean you need to give away all of your money to people who are less fortunate than you. That's not what I mean. Uh, what I do mean is that if, if somebody is dying from having not enough and you have much too much, then you are complicit. I have a very close family member who's like that and it's like constantly talking to a wall but there are some breakthroughs here and there and they're close to getting a COVID vaccine maybe. That's really exciting um, now that it doesn't matter nearly as much. Uh, but if, if you can get them to get a COVID vaccine then maybe you can get them to get flu shots every year, you know? I hope my kid has autism. Fuck those bigots who put their children at risk of deadly mutilating diseases just to avoid a fictitious risk of autism. Some of the best people I know are autistic. Some of the best motherfuckers I know are autistic. Hi, no fame pod. I, I imagine it's Justin here, hey? How are you? It's good to see you. me okay okie dokie uh anyway uh i i have no interest in being in a political podcast because i don't i just don't think that i'm smart enough i think that people would eat me alive i think that people would tear me apart i um i'm not I used to be really good at debating. Uh, it's not a skill that I like practiced and honed. Uh, I don't have, and, and every day I feel like my uh, ability to focus and like keep information in my brain short term to like bring forward later, like you need to in debate, um, that I, I lose my grip on that skill more and more every day. Uh, so I feel like I feel like people would be like, "Why the fuck do you have a cod, a, a cod, a podcast? You absolute fucking idiot!" And I feel like they would be right. I wouldn't be able to answer to that. Like, nobody should listen to me because I don't know what the fuck. I like I am not good enough at doing it, doing the thing. This pandemic and everything else that's been happening the last few years has really brought out the worst in people. You're not wrong. Random topic. I'm looking at my cat's paws and I notice the soles of his paws looks like the shape of a nose. Yeah, the, the Wario nose, hey? My autistic ass wasn't vaccinated until I was 16. It confuses the anti-vax people. It almost, almost makes me like want to screen cap stuff like that and like have just a folder of that for whenever I hate porn on Facebook you know what I mean the 
anti-vax argument pisses me off so much. I have family that is on the spectrum. Yeah, there's nothing fucking wrong with autism. That's how I feel about me and our podcast, Imposter. <laughs> you guys are goofy. Yo, did I tell you guys? I, no, no, you take that the fuck back. I love porn. I love porn. <laughs> uh, <laughs> don't you ever put that out there, Matthew. Uh, what the fuck was I about to say? I don't remember. Oh, yeah. I was very excited about it. I found... I found peanut butter that I don't like. I found a kind of peanut butter that I do not like. I... It's almost like... It's almost like... Finding water that doesn't get you wet. I had an anti-vax family, so when I got diagnosed, they were shook. Then I turned 16 and got the shots. I am no longer at risk of smallpox. Fuck yeah, Alec. I'm glad that you were able to get that taken care of. Despite your family almost letting you get very fucking sick. AJ Pickett says they will become confused and paranoid. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. The audacity. What kind? I don't remember... I don't remember what brand it was, but it was some natural peanut butter. Usually back in the States, I get Skippy natural peanut butter. It is amazing and delicious. It's the Skippy that has the brown lid. It's so fucking good. And so I thought that maybe this peanut butter that I was picking up would be like that. Um, it wasn't. It was like really, really thin, like liquidy, like you would pour it instead of um in, instead of like spreading it you know what i mean i'm a jiff gal but also peter pan all good but i like skippy is my fave it's just like what i was raised on it's just like the kind that my mom got so i think that that's why it's my favorite i feel like you can end up switching to any peanut butter if you spend enough time with it right it's like toothpaste in that way um Anyway, it was disgusting. It was so gross. It tasted like dusty. And it was like. Uh, it was so bland and like watery. It was so weird. I'm on the spectrum and while it is difficult, sometimes I brought so many people happy the way I think. And I, I think that that's important having. Hey, JW Fritz, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it a whole lot. Thank you. Um, I, I do think that uh, understanding different perspectives, including different perspectives, is, is such an amazing way to expand your own mind, right? Like thinking about other people's perspectives is like the only way that you can ever grow from your own problematic tendencies. And um, it having having people near you that are neurodivergent is like a guaranteed way to have fresh outlooks on things. You know what I mean? Like, and that's not that's not like what my neurodivergent friends mean to me. I hang out with them because I like them and care about them, not because they make me a better guy or whatever. <laughs> like, what kind of fucking disgusting self-absorbed bullshit is that? But like, I think that, uh, it, like, I'm thankful that I have people around me that are neurodivergent that show me a different perspective. That's a part of them that I am thankful for. Spill the tea, drag them, Doxy. Who was it? What peanut butter do you hate? I, I don't know. I don't know. I could go downstairs and look. We've decided that we're going to um, make peanut butter cookies with it and hope that it tastes good. Uh, whenever someone starts lecturing you with anti-vax propaganda, just blink your eyes rapidly for a long time and don't mention it at all. That's actually fucking hilarious. I found plenty of peanut butters that I don't like. If they're too dry, I don't like them. Yeah. 
as long as it's not planters peanut butter because that's the best I've ever had. I've never tried planters peanut butter, but I would love to. I I love planters peanuts. I know that they're, they're like bagged peanuts for snacking are my absolute favorite peanuts. Me walking down the hallway of my house and family is lounging around, Doxy very vocally in the living room. I love porn. Oh no, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Welcome, Saffy Doll. Good to see you. Oh no, sugar-free nut butter is sinful. I I just thought that it would be like the Skippy's natural, the Skippy Naturals. Like, I just thought, I was like, this one says natural, and the one I got at home says natural. So maybe if I get this kind, it will be like the other kind. But it was not. <laughs> it was not delicious and yummy and scrumptious like the other kind. It was watery and dusty and fucking bland, and I did not like it. I should send you some artisanal peanut butter from New Zealand. Hand churn, baby. AJ, do you want to do a snack exchange? I would love to do a snack exchange. I've been trying to get people from far away to do snack exchanges with me and nobody will fucking do it. I don't want to send AJ tofu. Why would I send him tofu? Why would we do that? I'm making a short film about what it's like for me personally to be autistic in a classroom. I'm including all of the sounds in the room I hear and such. Yeah. That's like that's something that I never really considered is how how like distracting things can be for other people. Hey, tofu is delicious. I've never met a tofu that I enjoyed. The concept of watery and dusty gave me the power to beat the final boss. Weird because I beat it without dying earlier, but this time it took like half a dozen. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it is both watery and dusty. I know that it sounds stupid. I know it does. Top the tater? What's top the tater? Stinky tofu, one of the three treasures of human. I don't know. I sent snacks to my friend up in Canada. I sent her ski and grippos because that's like the only thing we have down here. Where are you, Bumble Kitty Store? If you don't mind me asking, please don't feel obligated. I like to tofu mixed into other dishes. I've never had it by itself. I've never had yummy tofu. I've never had it. My God, it's fermented rotten tofu. I ate it though, just to say that I did. Was it good? What, did it make it fucking taste like something? Hunan province in China. Okay. I can hear everyone typing, breathing. If you're biting your nails across the room, I can hear that shit. Yeah, that, that's that got to be torturous. Um, I used to have... When I was younger, I used to have a severe problem with um, stuff in my peripheral vision. Like if somebody was fidgeting, like repetitive... If there was repetitive motion in my peripheral vision, I, I would not be able to focus on anything. It was terrible all the way through you. Oh no. I'm so sorry to hear that. There's different kinds of tofu, but the only kind I like is silken tofu, like the little cubes in miso soup. Yeah, I've never, I've never, I don't like the little cubes in miso soup. I don't, I've never had a tofu that I like. I'm up to the challenge. I would love to try proper tofu. Like I would love that, but I've never liked it. Wait, I'm trying to see. Hey, tofu is delicious. Going concept. Uh, wait, going, looking. I marinate my tofu in honey garlic and then pan fry it after tossing in cornstarch. One day of marinating. Tofu is cheap and delicious. Extra firm is what you need for the marinade. Marinate it. Hi, Brian. I L U. Also, how are you? I. Uh, it's probably, oh no, it's probably good you weren't here earlier so that I can tell you this now. Um, I might, I might start crying. I am so sorry to give you bad news like this. Uh, but Kika is really sick. Um... 
we don't know whether it's just really bad IBS or if it's intestinal cancer. The vet said that it would be a $2,000 surgery to find out the answer and the risk of it killing him was um, not worth the knowledge because the treatment would be the same either way. But right now, all we can do is give him medicine and hope that it gets better. Uh, and that non-answer cost me $450. So. Um, but we're, there's things to be positive about. There's things to be positive about. They said that his blood work was fucking incredible for his age. That it was really good for any cat ever, but, like, specifically for his age, it was really good. And they said that it's a really positive sign that he still, like, has an appetite and is, um, like, being a pest and being playful and stuff like that. Uh... I'm really proud of myself for not crying right now. <laughs> but, yeah, I just thought that you would want to know that. Oh, no, Doxy, I'm so sorry. Yeah, it's, it's rough. I cried all fucking day. I cried all day. Well, it's definitely not just a stomach bug. It's definitely something that he's going to be taking medicine for, for at least a couple of months, if not forever. And, like, we just have to wait to see if he starts dying. I guess uh okay 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 so we're gonna talk about something else now i apparently dropped my vax card on the bus and some good samaritan hunted me down on instagram because my name is absurd and reached out to mail it to me that is really nice quinn that's nice that they were willing to do that one of my mates made me try this hateful candy from japan it was both moist and ashy it's like watery and dusty peanut butter all over again figure it's okay for me to smoke catnip in the same room as my cat because she is asleep anyway uh secondhand marijuana smoke isn't really that big of a deal if you're not Cheech and Chong like you don't like you definitely are not gonna want to fucking be smoking marijuana in a room with a baby also cannabis god fucking damn it guys yell at me for that it's cannabis not marijuana uh fuck I forget what I was saying But yeah, secondhand, secondhand cannabis smoke is not really that big of a deal. I mean, catnip. I want to send someone zero bars. Those candy bars are so good. You, if anybody is trying to fucking mail snacks to people, one million percent, I will go get a P.O. box tomorrow. I will eat them on stream. We will... Nikocado avocado this bitch I don't care I'll do it I love snack food I love junk food I love garbage I exercise so that I can have extra calories oh you're smoking actual catnip does that do anything for it? I feel like that would give me a really bad headache. I was at a college for a day, and for lunch at the cafeteria, there was a dope-ass pasta line, and it was great. So for dinner, I went to the same line and waited forever, and I got to the front, and it was like Asian food that I didn't recognize at all. And the person serving the food looked at me weird, like, why are you here? And I was like, shit, I've committed to it. I just got to get it. So I pointed to the chicken-looking one, and, and he's like, are you sure? And I was like, shit, commit. It was tofu. I hated it. I struggled to eat it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Will you throw things and scream cry at us? Okay, I won't, like, full-on Nikocado avocado. Smokes catnip once, knocks water glass off table. Bulletproof Rosie, how are you? It's so good to see you. Bulletproof Rosie Sparkler, Doxy love, Doxy love, Doxy love, Doxy love. It's so good to see you. How are you? Um. 
right now I'm just thinking about Kika again and trying really, really hard to not cry. I'm so upset. I need to keep in mind that, like, we don't know. Like, it's not... He's, just, he's my baby, you know? Oof. Okay. I want 100% snack box exchange with you, dude. Yeah, let's do it. Let's, um, let's put it together. I would love to do that. The only thing is now that I live in Canada and the snack game here is pretty good, but it's not America. That's for fucking sure. Doxy, if you get a P.O. box, I'll send you disgustingly delicious Midwest snacks. I, I come from... I hail from Iowa, so that you would be sending me little pieces of home, and I am fucking here for it. Also, Bumble Kitty Store, I want to be able to send each other stuff anyway. We should collaborate on a project. Yeah, the snack game in Canada is way better than America. I super disagree. I super disagree. I think that it probably depends where you grew up, though, hey? Hydrate time. Hang in there, dude. He is eating and he is playing and he is kicking. He is a hell of a cat and he will fight whatever this is tooth and nail because he loves you and loves his life. He does love me and he does love his life. And he will. I know. I know. Um. Anyway, yeah, I think that it would be really fun. Bumble Kitty's store to I don't know why I called you your full name like I'm your mother and I'm disappointed in you <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, I think it would be really fun to do like to get a few crafters in on a collaboration also stop holding back tears when you need to cry it is healthy no it's okay like I I don't want to fuck up my I put I put glitter in my eyebrows today because it's pretty and whimsical and I'm an adult and I could do that. So I did my makeup and I don't want to fuck it up. We'll go with that. Got all the achievements in Elden Ring. I literally have no idea what to do with myself now. Oh my goodness. Well, I guess it's time to throw yourself into the world of gardening, Jesse. We let some pallets get away from us for lumber, and I'm really fucking devastated about it. Uh, because they were free, but we didn't have any way to transport them. I will hit you with our infamous pineapple lumps, which are chocolate-covered squares of fake pineapple taffy that we love over here. That sounds fucking divine. I've never had Marmite and I've always wanted to try it. I um, I hear that it's like extra salty umami flavors and that's my whole jam. I, my, okay, my tier list. No, let's fucking do this. Let's do this. Hold on a second. Give me a second, everybody. list maker hold on I'm gonna we're gonna do my tier list really quick since we don't have anything going on today hello oh we binged it <laughs> oh fuck Wow. Can't I just have a fucking blank? Tier list, please. I, I just want a blank one. How does, how do people do this? I just want a blank one. How do I get a blank one? Blank tier list maker okay but how do I get the things to put on it I'm so upset okay hold on 
copy link address I'm pasting and going. Yes, okay. How do I, how do I, um, how do I edit them though? How do I edit it? I just got here and the first thing I hear is you say you're so upset. Yeah, hi, Dead Man Darkling. That's just pretty much my existence. Um, there's a double S here. This goes from SS to C. That's so stupid. Um, of flavor profiles. Do I do this and then it will let me... Nope. Delete row. That's not what I wanted. I'm awful at this. Okay, Jesse, we'll see ya. The cog lets you, yeah, I don't want, I just, I wanna. Um... Reset. Anyway. So just looking at it, this is, we'll do it this way. I guess I can't do it the super fun way <laughs> because I'm stupid and I don't keep up to date on trends and so on and so forth. But uh, there's two that go in the top tier, which should be just a regular S because I don't believe in SS. That's awful. That <laughs> The last time we believed in an SS, it did not go well for a lot of people is all I'm saying. Um, Anyway, this is sour and this is salty. And then we will put spicy here. And we will put sweet here. What else is there? Is there anything else for flavor profiles? Anyway, it doesn't matter. Sour and salty are the best ones. Then spicy, then sweet. Oh, bitter, fuck. Bitter goes in the same as sweet. It's good, but not as not as good as everything else. Uh, and there aren't any like flavor profiles that I just fucking hate. I used to think that I hated cinnamon, but I'm coming around on cinnamon. As long as it goes with uh something sweet like it has to be sugared right like I do not like big red but I do like cinnamon rolls tart counts as sour 100% anyway that's uh that's my tier list that's good enough that's that's the way that I feel um S tier sour and salty hondo p then spicy then sweet and bitter Flavor profiles are all over the place. Floral, earthy, fruity. Okay, but I'm talking about like the big ins, right? Like, I feel like earthy you would classify as umami. Floral you would classify as sweet. Alec, yes, that was my that was my go-to icebreaker on OK Cupid a hundred thousand years ago. Oh my goodness, AJ, what are you doing? You're so sweet. Thank you very much. You also be well. I look forward to uh, hopefully working with you shortly. Spicy is a sensation, not a flavor, but whatever. But it is a flavor profile, Quinn. Like you, you feel like having spicy food. I love floral flavors. I know a lot of people don't. I love those weird old fashioned violet candies. I like um, floral teas a whole lot. 
I think that Gold Peak iced tea is the best. Unsweetened. I don't like sweet tea at all. I, I don't like sweet teas. Um, adding sugar to like a fruit tea is, is yummy, I guess. But like if it's going to be just herbal and floral, then I do not want it sweetened because I feel like that covers all the complexities of the flavors that already exist there. Um, but yeah, tea that has flowers in it, always so fucking good. Yo, Gold Peak is the good shit. Gold Peak is the most floral tasting of them, IMO. You're a southerner, so you probably love sweet tea. Sweet tea is probably like in your blood. I love floral tea, but it makes my throat burn. Yeah, Brian is uh, allergic to a lot of the flowers that go into teas. Sweet, spicy, sour, bitter, salty. What is the flavor profile of butter? Umami. That's an umami flavor. Why do they call it oven when you oven the cold food of... What? You just hurt me. You just did psychic damage to me. Also, uh, Ma Medarex, I'm so sorry if I ruined your name. Uh, thank you very much for following the channel. I appreciate you very much are you guys having a good day is there anything anybody feels like talking about questions like mine really make you think you prevented me from thinking for a solid minute bud <laughs> I, I, I wanted I wanted so badly I wanted so badly to ponder it did not work There's nothing more upsetting than a tea bag bursting in the cup. I don't mind. I don't mind. Um, I mean, like, it's a pain, right? I don't, I don't love it. I don't rip open my tea and pour it into the water, but it, it definitely, it doesn't feel like a tragedy or anything to me. I like my homemade iced tea, but it takes too long to make, so I only make it if I'm sick. It doubles as a remedy. That's nice. Snort tea for a true life. <laughs> Man, you guys really are taking my mind off things. Thank you a lot for being here and being yourselves and being fun. I gotta say, like I've always, I've always attracted a pretty cool community. I feel like, um, if there's one thing that being 100% no fucks given yourself all the time does, it brings people around that you like. Um, I just, I can't get over it. My community feels cooler and more my kind of people than it ever has lately. I think that we have gotten so many awesome new people and so many of my favorite old people have stuck around uh this is just this community is just getting cooler and cooler by the day and back when i used to play by the rules and i used to try to be famous instead of try to be myself uh it was like i i would notice that the new people that i was attracting just weren't my kind of people as much and uh my just it's cool. It's cool how how rad this community is becoming. It's a lot less obnoxious. Not that not that I ever disliked my community because I have always been very I very much care about the people that are in here and um stuff like that, but I feel like we're dealing with a lot less intercommunity drama that is unnecessary and stuff. It's uh it's cool. I like it. I like it around here. 
It's like a London Fog thingy or whatever. Earl Grey with other stuff. I Yeah, fucking London Fog is dope as hell. Not too long ago, I got this ball of tea thing, and that tea was the best I ever had. And it lasted 20 steps? What? Old people rule, hell yeah. Hell yeah, let's start some drama. No! It takes favorite hours to make, and when I would make it, other people would down it. They know how it tastes, and they want it, but I only make it when I'm sick, which is rare. I want to know. Can, can we have the recipe? Me goes to America and orders see America. Have some ice with it. I love iced tea. Y'all like peace tea? I don't really like peace tea that much. You meant to type steeps. Oh, okay. That makes so much more sense. Holy moly, that makes so much sense. I can't believe that I didn't put that together. I apologize. I'm the dick here, <laughs> for what it's worth. Um, anyway, let's compound that problem real quick. Dee Dee, I feel that pain so hard. Oh, no. Hmm. Well, it's almost commercial time anyway. That's fine. Hey, now I'm Irish. That uh, Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. And I like hot tea, too. But I do. I love me some American tea. I'm not saying you're wrong for not liking. I'm, I'm not going to yum your yuck. <laughs> Actually, yes, I am. I am going to yum your yuck. I love iced tea. I think it's so fucking good. Unsweetened black iced tea is so fucking delicious especially gold peak Roxy, I, I introduced someone to my immortal the other night and they read it all in one sitting it opened their world that's because it is the greatest love story ever told doxy what are you smoking um it's I, I don't remember, like, the name or the strain or whatever, um, but it, it's a very low THC sativa. Why the fuck are all the different tortellini at my grocery store non-GMO? Yeah, that's weird. Alec, do y'all have Earl Grey? Earl Grey cold is fucking phenomenal. Lady Grey is my jam. Do you guys like Lady Grey iced tea? I think it's basically, to be honest, I'm not sure entirely what the ingredients are, but I think it's just the same as Earl Grey, but with some citrus in it. I think. Lady Grey is so yummy. Lady Grey is a cutie. That's the name of somebody's cat, isn't it? Yeah, I'll give it a go. It's so yummy. It's so good. I, I do not recommend putting sugar in it. Bro, not to get political or anything, but what the fuck is a tortellini? It's a stuffed pasta. Yeah, it is Josh's cat. Josh and his wife have a cat named Lady Grey who's very, very precious. You're right. Ah, uh, his wife rules. I, following her on Twitter was, like, the best decision. I'm aware of what a tortellini is. Please don't feel the need to educate me on the term. Okay, sorry. You, you asked. You asked, so I answered. <laughs> Listen, I don't have three years of Olive Garden service under my belt for nothing. Ask me about cheap wine. <laughs> hey, Doxy, do you still play video games on the side? I play video games, just not on the channel anymore. I don't like, uh, I don't like the stress of, like, feeling like I need to do well. I don't like answering to the audience that expects me to be amazing at every video game. I don't like, um... There's a lot that I don't like about streaming video games. <laughs> Isn't Tortellini those crime fighters who live in a sewer with a talking rat monster? <laughs> Teenage Mutant Ninja Italian Turtles. 
Nice. Bro, pasta maker. I've been eyeing that. I might get for B-Day soon. Has this dope-ass ravioli attachment where you just dump the filling into the little divot thing and it starts rolling out filled ravioli. That's fucking sick, Matt. Homemade ravioli is fucking incredible. I forgot you used to work at Olive Garden. I think you gave me free stuff on occasion whenever I could. Sorry, Darden. You're a corporation. I don't care. Take a sip of lukewarm tea. My body convulsions. <laughs> we all know you're bad at video games. You don't need to fake it first. I'm really good at some video games. I'm really good at some. Um, Overwatch, I was awesome at, but people did not like watching it because I got mad. And when I got mad, I got mean. And I don't like to be that person. And it also brought in the kind of people that I don't like. People that liked to see me mad. So they would try to make me mad. I don't like that. I'm not, that's just a gross proposition that I am not into. They're called Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles in the UK, and that upsets you? Well, to be honest, how often do they practice ninjutsu? How far into Elden Ring are you, Docs? I am so in love with that game. I, I knew you would like it because it's so much like Dark Souls 2. Um, and also, that's a really hard question to answer about an open world game, hey? I'm currently sobbing over my negative 27 win streak on the Binding of Isaac. Oh, man, I love Isaac. That's another game that I'm fucking incredible at. I guess, how much of the main story have you done? We, and to be fully real with you, it's not me playing. I'm watching Josiah play. Um, Because that's just how we spend our time together. Is He plays a video game and I watch and help make decisions. And it's like the best life of all time. God, I'm so in love. Anyway, um, we just got to the city in the sky. I still want to hang out with you guys while playing some night if you want to do that. Yeah, I'm super dead. We should get Eric and then you guys can all summon each other and do stuff together in it. It would be very fun. Um, we should We should plan to all meet up with New Game Plus characters. Do you want to do that? And we will all, we'll just like, maybe I'll even have a couple beers. I haven't drank in like over a year, but I would have a couple beers for that. It might be a more accurate descriptor of the turtles, but it still sounds wrong. I agree that it doesn't sound as good. Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles. Yeah, I don't like that. Don't pressure yourself to drink because you know I won't be. Yeah, no, that's fair enough. I, I won't pressure you at all, but I think that it's really fun to just have a couple beers and get loose. I don't like to get drunk anymore. I used to like to get shitty, shitty wasted, um, and I just don't enjoy that anymore. The, the shame that comes with it is too much for me. Bloodborne is the best from game. Don't at me. I It's definitely my favorite aesthetically. I think that that game shoots itself in the foot a little bit by trying to not break immersion. In, like, they're, they're so insistent upon not breaking immersion that they fail to tutorialize a lot of things that really kind of need tutorializing. Elden Ring is your favorite from game. I still think that Dark Souls 3 is the best one, is the best game. TMHD sounds like something you gotta take a piss for. <laughs> a piss test for it, yeah, that's funny. I mean, I don't know what the more recent series have been like, but I remember them being pretty ninja -y in the 80s cartoons. I. They use, they use ninja weapons, but I still don't feel like they were that ninja. It, like, I, I don't feel like... I do feel like they are more ninja-y in the cartoons, for sure. The card you mean, like, the series that have, like, um, Krang and, like, Bebop and Rocksteady and, like, Irma and Casey Jones when we're lucky.
they were much more ninja y then than they are in like newer stuff for certain. But like the like Corey Feldman turtles, hero is definitely a more apt description, but it just does sound wrong. The lack of guidance is what really drove Bloodborne in a lot of ways for me. I feel like you already, FromSoft already is like, listen, the appeal of, of the FromSoft games for me has always been that it's this like kind of a lonely. Did I not hydrate for that or? Nice. Sorry, let me hydrate briefly. I think that, um, I think that something that FromSoft does really well is make a grand, real-feeling fantasy world, like a world that feels like it's been lived in, uh, and making it kind of like definitely grand and a little bit lonely. See you later, Matt. Have a good one. Nice. Um, and a big part of that is by like not being over tutorially, right? Oh, it's time for stretching too? Oh boy. Um, we can do that. Uh, the, the thing is that when, when you make that choice, you are making a choice that is going to drive away people that are uh, not as intuitive as others with video games. Right? Oh, fuck. Okay. Stretching feels so fucking good, man. Is there a place to post pics of tattoos in the Discord? We always just put them in your so vain, Eptar. Y'all, if you get my Discord bumping again, I remember the days where people would be hanging out in the voice chat at all times. And whenever I felt like it, whenever I felt lonely or whatever, I could just hop into my my Discord's voice chat and then it would make some people's day. And also I would just like have friends to hang out with for the night. That was a really, really fucking cool feeling. I miss that a lot. Uh, good night, Brian. I love you very much. Definitely hit us up in that group chat. Uh, if you want to, Brian, if you want to do me a favor, um, if you want to hop in there and tell Josiah the idea that I had and uh, about like you and him and Eric meeting with New Game Plus characters and all of you streaming so that I can watch and hang out while you play it. That would be amazing. I would love that so much. There's a channel in Discord for making new friends to play games with. I, we can 1 million percent make one. We can 1 million percent make one. Hi, doctor. How are you? Okay, good night, Brian. Sleep well, sweet dreams. What's the Discord? Just discord.gg slash fart slide. Or click that link. I really want to play games like Dark Souls and Elden Ring. I just can't react fast enough. Do you, um, is it an accessibility situation? Because otherwise that will come with practice. I've lost a lot of my friends and need new ones. Didi, I'm so sorry to hear that good what game are we talking about we're talking about a bunch of from soft games for the most part we've been we've been talking about from soft i'll do a from soft tier list eventually um and i'll uh i'll post it in discord or we can do it on stream sometime or something maybe but like it's it's difficult Especially because I've only been through Demon Souls once. Um, 
I have not played through Sekiro. I just can't, it just doesn't hold my attention. I just am not as into it for some reason. I don't know why, because I find the world to be absolutely beautiful. I think that it is one of the most dynamically pleasing ones, uh, but I don't, I just, I just can't get into the gameplay. I don't know why, and the story. Dejected ghosts, if I can just be parasocial for a second. I hope this isn't creepy. But I saw I saw that you followed me on Instagram. And I looked I just took a look at yours too because I thought that your profile picture was very pretty. I think that you are lovely. I think that you are absolutely lovely. I like your aesthetic a lot. A lot of Dark Souls is about falling into a rhythm. The enemies have an almost musical flow to their tales and attacks, and once you have the feel for it, it flows naturally. And then you fight the dancer of the Boreal Valley, and it fucks you up because they change the measure. <laughs> 100%. Next question, is there a place to post my pot? You, um, I'm going to definitely... Sometime me and the mods are going to completely overhaul the Discord so that we have channels that we need and not channels that we don't need. Uh, and and just make it more elegant and streamlined. For now, if you want to share anything that doesn't have a category, just pop her in a general. Just pop it in a general chat. That's fine. I beat Dark Souls 1 and 2 and now working on Elden Ring. Hell yeah. Three... Three is the best of the Dark Souls. It's definitely, it's objectively the best game out of the um, Dark Souls games, for sure, technically. Um, it's, it might be my favorite, um, like story-wise and gameplay-wise and world-wise too. Doctor. I bought all three Dark Souls, but I suck so hard in the first one, I can't get the timing of my own swings. Practice, just practice. It's gonna take it. I'll tell you what. Um, this might be this might be a lofty assertion, but it's one that I'm willing to make. I'm fairly certain that I started the trend of counting deaths in Dark Souls on Twitch. Uh, because what? What brought me to popularity in the first place was when I played through Dark Souls for the first time with a bunch of people on a voice call with me guiding me through and we called it the Doxy Death Count. Um, and every time I died, we would update the count on the, on the screen. And um, I do not remember my final count for Dark Souls 1. But it was over 400. It was over 400 deaths. And it took me over a year. It took me over a year of playing the game every Tuesday for at least three hours, if not many, many more. So, like, I just, I promise, and now I am a person that has a from soft sleeve because I love those games so much. Uh, I just give them a chance. You will get better. You will. Also, I've beaten them all without learning to parry. I still can't parry. I dare a motherfucker to gatekeep my fucking tattoo right now because I can't parry. I fucking dare you. Sorry, but I, I just am so ready for it, especially because I am a girl. Uh, but I, I, those games mean so much to me. And I was just awful just awful couldn't bear that tattoo needle either <laughs> I it also it warms my cold rotten heart 
that all of you are in here reminiscing about DDC. Those were magical times. I really loved those times. They're so special to me. Thank you. That's so freaking sweet. It made my day. My Instagram game is very lacking due to people I'm no longer associated with. Hacking my account, deleting all of my pictures. Dejected ghosts, I'm so sorry that they were so cruel to you. That's terrible. I'm really sorry. Yeah, the turf fucking was disgusting. Do you also remember me telling them over and over that I do not like semen as food jokes? That, like, it actually makes me sick? And then them pushing it and pushing it anyway? Fuckers. God. That was not funny. That was I did not like that. Yes, they were gross. Yeah, I, I, I still love all of the people. Not all of the people. Not all of the people. I still love most of the people that were on DDC with me, though. Um, I'm, I still hold almost all of those people very dear to me. But I'm telling you guys, there are some folks that I have worked with that I, I will never, I'm never gonna expose any of them for doing nothing like illegal. They were just shitty to me. But they're, and, and they're like really dicks about their viewers and stuff. But you would not believe how many of them are actually just awful people. Soylent is people. I mean, spoilers, guy. Uh, come on. <laughs> I was so close to getting it through the first graveyard in Dark Souls today, but I fell off a cliff at the end. You will get there. You will. I like playing Zelda Breath of the Wild, but I can't dodge for shit, but I can parry anything. Yeah, it's it, it's just a matter of practice. Um, the thing with Dark Souls, the thing with Dark Souls that makes it wholly unique and a masterpiece uh, and a marvel is that barring any uh, bugs which are few and far between in Dark Souls um, anytime you die it's, it's going to be your fault you know what I mean uh, it's consistent it is legitimately hitbox pornography and it is, um, it, enemies have patterns. Like you are meant to observe and then attempt and then refine. I have really good timing, but I always make shiny mistakes and it makes me mad. Oh no. I'm a hack and slash gamer. So Dark Souls is really hard for me. Yeah, it is not a hack and slash. It's, I feel like Dark Souls is an open world situation. Not really open world. I don't know how to describe it, but like a, a we'll call it a 3D adventure game that uh, is designed for people who are good at, um, at fighters. Hey, like, like Mortal Kombat style fighters, because it's about observing enemy behavior and being patient. I thought pairing was frustrating to learn in Dark Souls 2. Proper frames are a bit arbitrary and you don't know what they are. So you basically have to just get owned over and over until you can intuit them out. Yeah, it's true. Uh, you have to you have to have a sense of timing a little bit. Wait, come dungeon not chalice. Oh jeez. Oh, it's never my fault when I die in a cheating broken bullshit game. It's the game's fault. <laughs> you guys are good. Doxy chat equals good. I really want to be extra decadent. Fuck. You know those um, banana chocolate chip muffins that I told you guys about yesterday? I kind of want to heat one of those up and put peanut butter on it.
Being a former Cry fan, yeah, finding out about creators being creeps has become a regular occurrence lately. Um, it's not just that they're creeps, though. Like, I'm not even talking about sexual scandals. I'm talking about people just, like, oops. Like, literally, like, using one another, talking shit about their fans, uh, like, dropping people that were very good to them the moment they see a modicum of success. Uh, just being all out 100% different people on screen to who they are. Uh, like in the DMs and like all while spouting the, the virtue of authenticity. Some of, some of your deepest faves are genuinely awful people. Just not good friends at all. That all they care about is money. Doxy, bring enough for the class. Yo, I, I am soaked on these muffins. Normally when I eat a muffin, I like something a lot um, plainer. I normally like like brand muffins. I think that brand muffins are a gift to humanity. Um, I don't typically like like very desserty muffins, but y'all, these banana chocolate chip muffins. I I I would like semen as food jokes if that's the way semen tasted. I'll tell you that much for free. That's why I played Yoshimitsu. Shuri had a uh, Oro hit combos. What? But then there are unmentioned combos that float into each other. Knowing all his moves doesn't mean you can plan for them. It's true. You're not wrong. Muffins are semen. They can be. There's a cookbook. Oh, I don't. I don't like this line. This is gonna make me sick. This is gonna make me sick. The thing that really sucks about not, like, about, I get so grossed out by just the weirdest stuff because, like, I, it's not, I don't have a problem hiding the evidence. You know what I mean? I don't have a problem with that. But just, like, talking about semen as food legitimately makes me queasy and it always has and I don't know why oh god did you just say there's a scene yes yes there is we gotta talk about something else you guys we have to also my head just started hurting really bad um I it is well beyond time for a commercial break I think we're gonna do that really quick I might get me a muffin uh, I am making a basket weave stitch scarf. I'll probably, I don't know if I'm gonna um, put it on a shop for chat to be able to buy the stuff or if we're going to be um, gifting these to like a homeless shelter or uh, like sending aid to like whatever cause we're following at the time. Um, but I, uh, it, it depends on whether I get enough that I can ship stuff out. Um, anyway, yeah, I, I am very, very into the idea of selling it or donating it or whatever when it's done. I think that it's very good looking so far. Uh, I think it'll look even better once it has a proper edge on it. Um, then again, I kind of, I kind of like the raw edge look on the basket weave. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to run a quick ad. Everybody hang tight. We'll be right back.
Howdy. There we go. How's it going, y'all? I haven't had a Coke in so many days. Coke Zero is my newest terrible, terrible addiction. <clears throat> it starts with a delicious sip of soda and ends in freebasing the Coke scented vapors from a pile of empties. Thank you so much, honey. By the way, it was amazing. The muffin. Like, the next one you eat, you have to do it that way. I had a muffin. I put, I heated it up and I put peanut butter on it. And it was fucking incredible. Incre it was the best thing I've ever eaten. To be fair though, those banana muffins are fucking, they're magic, dude. Oh no, your bed was sprinkled with toast crumbs. That's no good at all. Alec, have you, um, have you messaged me on Discord yet? I would very much like you to if you uh, want if you want to do some editing because I have an idea to toss your way excellent thank you sound good for muffins too bad I can't have them because I'm allergic to banana no I would hate being allergic to banana Doxy, the whole family would like to thank you for remembering that the sewer is a fragile ecosystem. Just keep eating those bran muffins. I love bran muffins. And also, I, I have pooping problems. So that's how I know I love bran muffins. Um, I, For what it's worth, my entire life, I've always had a hard time. Like, I just... I drink water. I try magnesium. I just have pooping problems. There's a million things I eat roughage like you guys would not believe the amount of leafy greens that I eat you would not believe it uh broccoli is a staple in this home thank you so much Alec I had a bouncer recently but he showed up five minutes late and during the event he wouldn't stop asking me if I was mad at him turns out I hired an insecurity guard Yo, you're getting so you're getting so many good ones out lately, Sholin Monkey. Not to say that any of them like I hate any of them. What I hate more is, is being allergic to cantaloupe and honeydew. I to be honest, I'm not a huge fan of cantaloupe or honeydew. Then again, I haven't tried them in a long time, and my tastes do change wildly over time, so. I might like them if I gave them another chance. I still, I, I am so upset, y'all. Okay, so I love grapefruit. I fucking love grapefruit. But only when I've eaten one of those magic berries that turns off the bitterness because they are too bitter. It's such a mean trick. 
that they are so delicious under all that bitter. But having eaten them with the um, the magic berries, you guys know what I'm talking about. Those tablets that you dissolve on your tongue and then you eat things and they taste weird and different. Like it takes the sour out of sour stuff and the bitter out of bitter stuff. It blocks those receptors or whatever. I don't I don't know the actual science behind it, how it how they work, but um, I I have done them and it's really neat. Uh. Anyway, fucking one of I I think that grapefruit would be my favorite fruit if it wasn't as disgustingly fucking bitter as it is on its own. The miracle berry, yes. I love grapefruit, but I have to put sugar on top to combat the bitter. Forever a sweet tooth. Yeah, I I I wouldn't be able to I for me that would just What's the word I'm looking for? It would, um, um, oh my God. What's the word I'm looking for? Defeat the purpose. Jeez Louise. I've always wanted to try the magic berry tablets. Get some. It, they're inexpensive and it's so fun. It's such a fun thing to do like with your friends. Um, I highly recommend, I, I, grapefruit was wild, was absolutely wild. Um, getting really, really bitter chocolate is crazy. If you peel the skin off the individual segments of grapefruit, it removes the bitterness. Oh my goodness. Sholin Monkey, did you just... Is that true? Is that the answer? Chat room. All this time I could have had a new favorite fruit and been spending time with my new favorite fruit eating them. Just eating them and eating them and loving my life and saying, ha 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 ha. I love grapefruit. Have you ever had Szechuan peppercorns? I have not. I don't know the Aziz, Aziz skit you are referring to. I'm so sorry. Yeah, thank you, Sholin Monkey. I, I'm gonna get a grapefruit and I'm gonna try it. If it's still bitter, then we have to fight to the death, okay, physically. I'm a fresh keep it split. What? Are you, are you about to bounce? Are you Audi? Are you saying goodbye? I'm so sorry. I know that you're getting absolutely rocked by autocorrect tonight. As much fun as it was about to pass out. Oh, wait. As much as... Oh, my gosh. As I can't read. Let me take a sip of this coffee. Hey, Lita. Okay, as much fun as it was to pass out to you last night, I don't want to do it again and get woken up by some louder streamer you host, so I must say goodnight now. That's so okay. Good night, Hacks Matt. Have a good night. Thank you for coming in. That one was intentional? Okay. It was mentioned to be a joke. I'm so sorry. I, am, I clearly need the copy that boyfriend was sweet enough to make for me. Oh, he just happened to be at a restaurant with 50 Cent was being explained the difference between grapes and grapefruits. <laughs> That's so funny. Like he's... I, I'm a split, keep it fresh. Got it. 
gotcha. So you are taking off. Okay. Have a good one. It's like the essence of carbonated soda distilled into a flower bud. Wait, what are we talking about? Oh, they're super cool too. Szechuan peppers hijack the spicy receptors in your mouth and make it feel like your tongue and cheeks are like vibrating. That's cool. So it's like, it's like you got TV static in your mouth. Like, oh, how the turns have taken. Yeah, 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 totally. Sorry. That's my bad, Didi. I'm a loser. <laughs> Sorry. I hope you have a good night and you don't hate me for not getting it. Y'all, my head is killing me all of a sudden. Ugh, if I die live on stream, make sure that I become one of those famous ones, okay? Make sure that everybody sees this and they're like, wow, I should have watched Zero Doxy. <laughs> That's a good way to put it. Okay. Yeah, I, I feel you. I fucking love carbonated drinks. I love carbonation. It makes it easier to get fat though. So I'm trying to have less carbonated drinks. China, it's a common ingredient with cocktails. Okay. Yeah, I bet that's sick. 50 cent orders a grapefruit soda. Why isn't this purple? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I get you. Man, I feel like a lot of people really, really hate on Aziz Ansari. Like, too much. I feel like he's pretty funny. I feel like people really hate just like letting people like distinct things. You know what I mean? Because they stole his fucking skull. Wait, what? Am I actually genuinely about to like have an aneurysm and die right now? I'm so confused. I would have taken the easy road with Fiddy and told him it was because half the grapes used were green white grapes rather than even explain grapefruit. <laughs> why is it called grapefruit though? Like why? Plot of 50 Cent Blood on the Sand is that some guy stole his crystal skull, so he has to go shoot them and take it back. Oh. Okay. Gotcha. You're not having an aneurysm on being obscure. Okay, okay, okay. For what it's worth, I find you at your hottest when you're obscure. <laughs> Grapefruit grow in clusters. Okay, I did not know that. Also, Mood Candy, welcome. I like your name. I like your vibes. Everybody make sure that Mood Candy feels welcome. I love a motherfucker that just bust up in here and teach me shit. Well, I love that. I fucking love that. They look kind of like extreme grapes when they're on the tree. Okay. That's good to know. I feel educated. Oh my goodness, Mood Candy, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate that very much. Grapefruit grow on trees and clusters like grapes, unlike other citrus. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep, 
Y'all are so smart. What's it like to be so smart? I admire smarts. Damn, I made a joke about it being a big grape, but I wasn't far off yet. <laughs> you ain't wrong. No room for other things in brain, just obscure fruit facts. <laughs> I'm fucking here for that. I would say hit us with another, but I don't want to put you under pressure and scare you away. <laughs> I wish I had the power to make a poll in chat right now. I guess, okay. Right, do y'all want to do some brackets? I mean, it doesn't have to be a bracket. I'm just talking about polls. I don't know why I said brackets. Um, what, I, I want to ask what everybody prefers between two things and see what wins in like a bunch of different instances. Do you guys feel like doing that at all? I have one specific one in mind that I like really, really want to know what everybody says. Okay, the first one is tricks versus fruity pebbles. What weird, interesting trivia? I've been researching weird state country borders the last few years, and there's some cool ones. Definitely feel free to spit some of those too. literally have them today I I think I'm on team fruity pebbles I think I'm on team fruity pebbles but they're both very good popping in to say fruity pebbles fucking slab hell yeah graceful lily also craziness crafter thank you so much for the follow I really appreciate it a lot Neither, but if forced, pebbles. Okay. Pebbles win on the texture alone. I do. I think that. I think that um, fruity and cocoa pebbles both have a very cool texture. What's a fruity pebble? It's a cereal. So sorry, Alec. It's American. It's just hardened sugar in the shape and color of fruit. Well, that's what Trix is. Trix is in the shape of fruit. Pebbles are just they're like Rice Krispies. But they're fruity. I think that I don't think that it's a rice cereal. or Yeah, it is. It's flattened rice, isn't it? Much the same thing, though. Fruity Pebbles go soggy faster. I really like mixing fruity, pre fruity pebbles in with vanilla ice cream. That shit is amazing. Do we have weird Canadian fruity pebbles that were almost like frosted flakes? Oh, we used to. I bet that was really yummy. I, I love fruity pebbles, to be fair. Oklahoma's panhandle is due to Texas becoming a state after the parallel compromise dictating new states couldn't have slavery if any part of them was too far north. So Texas lopped on the top bit and gave it to Oklahoma so they could keep their slaves. Gross. Normalize putting the milk in first. Agree, Alec. Agree. I'm a milk first. Uh, actually, that's not true. I'm a habitual cereal first. But w every time I do milk first, re every time I do milk first, like when I'm conscious about it, I'm like, this is better. This is better. Additional grapefruit fact. If you take meds, check your interactions because grapefruit, grapefruit can nullify the meds being able to be digested. Not all meds, but a significant number of them. Yeah, doesn't that have to do with, um, with like a non-medicinal part of the medication? Isn't it like the wax, like capsules that are made out of that like edible digestible wax stuff? 
that capsules are made out of. Yeah, it makes it so they don't bust open. Yeah, you're right. You're totally right. Oh, hey, I already did the chings. Okay. All right, next bracket. Are you guys... Well, I guess it's not a bracket. It's... Uh, hey, Doxy, thanks for the chill vibe. Going to call it a night. Have a good one. See you later, Justin. Have a good night. It was really good to see you. Uh, hope we can hang again sometime soon. Uh, I don't know why I keep calling them brackets. Because we're not doing a bracket situation. We're not doing, like, a round robin or anything like that. Uh... Next, uh, next poll is mint chocolate chip versus chocolate chip cookie dough ice cream. States that were part of or before the Louisiana Purchase have weird state lines because it was important to have waterways for shipping. During the westward expansion post-1850, we were shipping via railroad, so the borders are square since rivers didn't matter so much anymore. Huh. That's very interesting, Raikudo. We've got two for cookie dough and one for mint. I'm surprised that um, this one isn't more controversial. <coughs> that this isn't kicking up a bigger fuss. And I'm really, I'm very thankful for you guys. I'm very thankful for how the channel has been going lately and all the people that hang out here. I've, it, I've just felt so much better about my channel than I have in so long. I've just felt, I've been, I'll tell you, I've been like getting so stressed out and so fucking fucked up. Linnaeus Cavall, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Oh, Lily it's so good to see you. Can't stay long, but That's okay that you can't you. stay. Have a good one. Um, I, I have been stressing myself out really bad about numbers and about money and stuff like that. And uh, I have found that I, I prefer that stress to the stress of being like, ugh, what fucking video game is on trend right now? What kind of sexist bullshit am I gonna have to put up with today? Uh, you know, stuff like that. Just, I'm so gosh dang thankful for you guys. Just being the trillist. I can't decide either one because I have both in my freezer right now. That's so funny. Oddly enough, I have a semen-related anecdote about chocolate and mint food. No thank you. No thank you, please. The only reason I buy cookie dough is so I can let it melt and eat the bits. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. Waffles. Or pancakes. The vibes here are immaculate. Oh my god, thank you, Mood Candy. That's a really huge compliment, and I appreciate that. Thank you. Victoria, it's good to see you. 
had a sexist dude come in to run a workshop today. It was brilliant how the class shut him down immediately after making the comment. Ooh, what was the comment? Spill the tea. Abstain, both are awesome. Okay, okay. One hour till the drinking day. Oh, shit, right, Gudo? Pancakes, waffles don't stack as well. Okay. Pancakes, they have more potential. Okay. I don't think I need to say which one I remember. It's true, pancake. I don't think you do either. <laughs> that was so fucking cute. I loved every second of that. Oh my God. That just made me so happy. It's it's just cute because like I imagined you as like a cartoon pancake saying it. Like hilarious. I sorry that my brain is it functions in cartoons, but it's just true. It just does. Uh, <laughs> fuck, that made me so happy. I am. Um, I think that I'm on the waffle side. I I don't get it twisted. I think pancakes are so yummy. I love pancake. One. And then I'm good for like a fucking year. And I don't want another pancake for a long, long time. You know what I mean? Hey, did you ever watch that Comedy Central show review with Forrest McNeil? I've never even heard of that. Okay, but... Okay, so we will turn this one into a bracket. Because you guys... You guys um, knocked out waffles, hey? More of you like pancakes than waffles. Do you know or remember the toys Littlest Pet Shop? Yes. Yes, I do. Um, okay, so now pancake versus French toast. waffle because they have slots for butter and syrup fuck yeah but also i use more syrup than anybody ever like people okay i am actually just kind of like this with like sauces and additions and stuff in general like when i put peanut butter on a sandwich i put it on thick when i put syrup on my waffle i want syrup in every single fucking one of those divots i want syrup on every but like I want syrup I don't want I don't I don't fuck around with like a little bit of syrup every couple of bites I don't fuck around um when it's cheese I want extra cheese so on and so tzatziki I want enough tzatziki in my pita that you say gross and then double it I drown every salad I eat with dressing. Same. I like a lot. Um, right, but I find the butter doesn't melt right in the slots. I want the butter to melt and soak into the food with the syrup. I, I don't mind a little bit of extra leftover butter in my bites. Oh, that's really cute, right, Kudo? I, I love a blueberry, a blueberry pancake. I can tell you that we do, in fact, get blind drunk on St. Patty's Day. Okay, good to know. Yeah, I don't eat food with sauce syrup. I eat sauce syrup with food. Yeah, I'm the same way. I'm the same way. I, and I'm like that with everything. Cream cheese, I want an entire fucking brick. Please and thank you. Okay, that's... That's a bit much, but like not by a lot. You got, like legitimately, I will use a quarter brick of cream cheese on a single bagel. And that's like showing restraint. I do cardio like every day, okay? Uh, Little Miss Sunny, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate you. I think that cream cheese is the most uh, amazing substance. 
I think that I think that cream cheese is the most delicious substance. I've never regretted adding cream cheese to a dish or food before. I think that cream cheese enhances any dish. Yes, I've had it with cereal. Yes, I have, and it I didn't regret it. That's actually one thing I'm going to miss with the daylight savings shift going away, that greeting autumn drinking holiday where the clock rolls back and the bar is open an extra hour. I did like that too. I, it, that was a fun little magical thing, but it's not worth it. IMO. If the cream cheese is not spilling out of the bagel with every bite, it's not enough. Big agree. Huge agree. Another commitment from, er, yeah, from the sexist dude to a lady in our class. You'll never get a job in this industry with your shirt unbuttoned like that. It's not respectable. Fuck that guy. Fuck that guy. Other Philistines don't butter their batter, so butter is necessary. Yeah. I do both. <laughs> I do both. Mascarpone over, or mascarpone. I, I never know how to fucking pronounce that. People around me have pronounced it mascarpone, but I refuse to believe that. Uh, but I do like it. No! Don't say that they're right! It is not Mars Capone. Honey on a bagel? I do like honey. Peanut butter and honey on a bagel. Peanut butter and honey? Way, way better than peanut butter and jelly. It's, it is the superior snack sandwich. Peanut butter and honey is the god combo. It might be the secret it might be also i rebutter the pan between each set of pancakes because that butter cooks in perfectly hell yeah pbh slaps superior childhood sandwich entirely agree especially when it's been sitting in your lunch bag all day and the honey like crystallizes on the bread and makes it just a little bit crunchy oh oh What's the consensus on peanut butter and pickles? I tried it because I thought it was disgusting, but it's actually not bad. It's so yummy. Peanut butter and pickle is so good. Mars Capone is correct, but as with all pronunciation things, if your accent says otherwise, that's fine. Tomato, tomato, gotcha, gotcha. Uh, I actually, I typically use Neufchatel instead of cream cheese just because it's a little bit lower calorie. And uh, I think that depending on the brand, sometimes it tastes way better. It does sound cursed, Alec. You're right. You're 100% right. I tried it when a friend of mine was like, no, trust me, you're going to like this. And I was like, I'm not going to like it. I will prove it to you. And I took a bite and I was like, fuck you, we're fighting. <laughs> being used on you know what I agree maybe let's let's nullify white versus wheat I feel like I most of the time prefer the flavor of wheat but the calories of white because white is typically just lower calorie and that's something that I am never gonna not think about <clears throat> 
for your consideration, Sardo. I do like sourdough bread a lot. Uh, my favorite bread is brioche, but that's basically just cake. If you, if you toast brioche and put just peanut butter on it, it's the most decadent dessert you've ever had in your entire life. It's so, so, so yummy. Okay, for a non-food one, for a non-food bracket, or I mean, I, it's not a bracket. Stop saying bracket. A non-food poll. Robin Williams or Jim Carrey? My depression is kind of pulling a lot more tonight, so I'm going to make my exit. I may be in later if I feel better. Y'all have a great night. I think I just need a minute to try crying it out. Hey, Victoria, uh, we're we're here with you. We support you. If if you um, if you need time to yourself, you should definitely take it. Uh, just know that we're thinking of you, and we hope you feel better. I'm having a rough day today too. I'm very sorry. Ooh, everybody with Robin Williams. That seems rather unfair, but I guess I have to go with Williams. How dare you make me choose? Sorry. Help is on the way, dear. Yeah, uh, Mrs. Doubtfire is, is one of my favorite movies. Like, it's an objectively good movie. Uh... I love Carrie, but Williams is just iconic. They're both iconic. If I, if I had to choose, it would also be Robin Williams. I think I'm with chat. I think I'm with chat on that one. Also, I do not ever recall hearing about Williams being anti-vax. Yeah. That one depends on my mood because Robin Williams is classic, but Jim Carrey can make me laugh no matter what. I'm with you. Dejected ghost, it's hard. It's hard. I, uh, I, Robin Williams just genuinely felt like, uh, like part of the family, I feel like. I feel like everybody feels that way. Not to say what stuff feels like for you, but I feel like, um, he scares you? Oh no. Were you a little kid the first time you saw the mask? Because I could imagine that being a little bit traumatizing. I think also knowing what Williams was fighting against and still managing to be funny makes me respect him a lot more. Yeah. Let me show you something. Yeah, the fire marshal. So funny. God, that shit, was, that shit made me cackle when I was a kid and I should have known then that there was something very, very wrong with me. Yes, also the Grinch. Yeah, okay. I could see I could see that being a little bit traumatic for you, to be fair. Okay. Reading or singing? Carrie's weird face is scaring a kid. Yeah, for sure. Should have been Jim Carrey versus Ernest. I don't think it's the same. I don't, I don't think that it... I think that Jim Carrey would have won that one hands down. Like, easily. Reading or singing? Yeah, for a hobby. It doesn't necessarily have to be you singing. It could be listening to somebody else singing. Like, listening to music. Him coming out of the rhino scarred you for life. God, I fucking cackled, dude. I don't know. Growing up on Rocco's Modern Life and Ren and Stimpy probably made that shit hit different for me than for a lot of you.
Hot tub or swimming pool? Dang it. But what about William stand up? He would be better compared to Carlin. Uh, we don't talk about Robin Williams stand up because he was a notorious joke thief on the stand up circuit. He shined at acting. That's where he that that's where he shown. Neither they're both disgusting. Interesting. If I could have my way, a swimming pool size hot tub. Mm, people soup. Hot tub, the pool shark will get me if I'm in the pool. Oh. <laughs> That's funny. We also didn't talk about Robin Williams. Hor Robin Williams has a horror movie? Oh God, though, I have some amazing hot tub memories. Yeah, I love a fucking hot tub, dude. I still think maybe a swimming pool, though, because it's, it's just fun to be active and I can stay in longer. Does anyone else remember a Nickelodeon show called Mr. Meaty or was it a hellish fever dream I witnessed on TV at 12 a.m. as a kid? I don't remember a Mr. Meaty. I was like asking goth chicks Munsters versus Adam's family, but it's definitely Adam's family though. Did anybody ever say Munsters? We don't talk about the transphobic ending of the Ace Ventura movie. I full agree. It's it's gross. I and as much as like people want to say it's a different time or whatever we don't we don't make excuses we just move on we just grow okay like we move on and we grow I've said a bunch of things that I'm not proud of I 1 million percent I used to be like just full-on creepy sexual with chat all the time and it's gross it's gross I wish I could go back and change it but I can't so We grow and we move on. Nah, Adam's every time that I can remember. Right, because we all wanted to be Wednesday. Each and every one of us. I thought the Adams family was inspired by Munsters. I I don't know. I which came first? I forgot about that movie, Raikudo. One hour photo, yeah, that was, that, I remember, I forgot, I saw it once and I remember liking it, but I was, it was many, many years ago. So, um, I can't like stand by that judgment that I had because I was probably on many drugs and I probably still hadn't like internalized what makes a story good or any of that stuff. Okay, Converse versus Vans. Oh, that's really cute, Alec. Huge fan of what dreams may come. It's super trippy and makes you cry every time. Uh, what's the one where his son dies what's the one where his son dies and um but his son was like a real piece of shit and he had to make him out to be this like real dope kid and everybody loves him after father of the year that is the name of it god that movie was so good hey well, don't ruin it. People might not go, like, people might have not known about it and then try to watch it. Yeah, but it's still, like, I don't know. I don't know. Like, saying the lightsaber is a Star Wars is a spoiler for Star Wars. I disagree. 
agree. I'm not mad at you. I just, uh, I wouldn't have said that. That's all. Wait, did... Is that real? Did David Carradine die that way? I like, I, no, that like rings a bell. Like, I feel like I, I was probably drugs when that happened, to be honest. I was probably just drugs. What year was it? If it was before I did YouTube, I was definitely drugs. <laughs> the dude who died from it. unfortunate kink man no shame if that's your kink it just please be careful please be careful it's that's so scary how horrific that that like that kind of thing gets out also saw Robin Williams in was Mork and Mindy. That's how old I am. Um, and then I saw him in Toys with his sister Joan, who, or that's not his sister, that's Joan Cusack. That's John Cusack's sister. I'm a dumbass. I am so sorry. Uh, with Joan Cusack, who I also completely stand. I think that she is a queen. Um... And then it would have been either Aladdin or Mrs. Doubtfire, whichever came first. Man, Robin Williams was in a lot of fire shit. He was just so talented. bright light for so many people his uh his daughter zelda is fucking rad uh i mean like keep your distance and don't talk to her about her father she doesn't like being made to talk about him all the time but i recommend following her on twitter she has a lot of uh i i just like the way she is as a person Oh yeah, Fern Gully! Fern Gully fucking ruled. Fern Gully fucking ruled, man. The villain song in Fern Gully is fucking killer. I can't, like, I remember so little. Ashire Cat, thank you so much for following. Appreciate you very much. Tim Curry fucking rules. God, I hope he's having a good day. Wherever he is. Another just treasure of a man. Was T 
Tim Curry the bellhop in four rooms, or am I mistaken? I didn't know who you were talking about, so I looked David Carradine up. Yes, he died that way. He died in 2009, but he has movies after the fact, and there's another coming. How does that work? Don't know. Weird. Well, I mean, th the simple answer is they were in pre-production before he died. If he was, like, actively involved with them, or there's footage of him being used in other, like, in source material uh, in other films that are upcoming and in pre-production. Nice. versus colored pencils. Don't mind if I do, Lilith. How are ya? of this row and then call it a stream for the night, y'all. You can't stand colored pencils. Ooh, I love colored pencils. I love, I'm really good at blending with colored pencils. Uh, Moody Blake, I am making a basket weave stitch scarf. And uh, if we make enough money this month, if we hit our tip goal, I'll set up an Etsy page so that I can ship this stuff out to people. The stuff that I make on the channel here. Kind of want to do a really long stream tomorrow. Like start early and maybe do like a subathon style thing where if people sub it adds time on and if people donate it adds time on but the thing is doing those things without planning for them they always go embarrassingly not well oh my goodness Quinn Wilder thank you so much for the follow I appreciate it a whole lot thank you also I don't know if you remember me or not but I used to watch you back in the day but I've been away so I apologize do not ever apologize for taking time off and people's tastes change and stuff all the time I, I ain't even remotely mad at you. You did what you had to slash wanted to. And uh, that's that's more important than sitting on twitch.tv watching Zero Doxy cuss at strangers, you know? Um. Anyway, I it's good to see you. I, di I did recognize your name. It set off bells. Uh, I don't have, like, a little image in my head for you, which I do with a lot of chatters that are, like, regulars, if that makes sense. So I apologize for that. I went to art school and had a teacher that was absolutely crazy about pressure with colored pencils, and my hand would cramp so bad, and you'd have to buy way more overexpensive colored pencils way too often, yeah. It's, um, it's definitely a thing. It's definitely a thing. Good night, Quinn. See you later. I don't know. What do you think, guys? Should we plan a subathon for next week? Maybe we ought to. I've just been kind of trying to take planning stuff slowly because when I over promise I always under deliver and um, 
when your depression is as bad as mine and your stress levels are as high as mine, it's almost any promise is an over promise. And I think that only Zoomers really understand that. I think that only Zoomers are like hip to mental health and what we need to do to take care of ourselves. I feel like almost nobody from my generation and before really care as much. seems Tim Curry is going to be in the next Lovecraft movie. That's very exciting. Uh, hopefully it's a good a good one. It's hard to um Oh, hello. Pronouns in my bio. Welcome. I didn't know that there was a bio. Is there a bio on Twitch now? That's so fun. If you don't mind telling me them, it would make me happy. I'm so sorry. Everybody make sure that pronouns feels welcome. Um Anyway, I think we're gonna call it for the night. Oh, it's just your username everywhere. Okay, okay, fair enough. He, they, okay, got it. I I will try to remember that. Um, I feel like, I feel like, yeah, a Lovecraft movie is just, like, Lovecraft is one of those things that you, it's the experience is the best as written word. <laughs> Of course, of course. Actually, you guys, I found out recently that there's a Twitch extension uh, that displays username, or like users pronouns, and I really wanna start using it. I'm gonna find out more about it and we're gonna implement it ASAP. Um, anyway, you have it. Do you mind linking it? That's interesting, Doxy. Can you not see the pronoun boxes in the chat? No, it's it's a um yeah, it's it's an add-on, right? Everybody knows about this stuff before I do, and this is my job. Jeez Louise. Hi babe. Bye babe. Um anyway, okay, I'm going to I'm going to run ads. I would love so much if you guys would all be very active in chat um on the Twitch side. Sorry YouTube. Uh, because I'm going to find somebody to raid while we run our exit ads and stuff like that. Thank you so much for being here and uh, hanging out with me today. I really just needed your energy. You guys are amazing. And it does always make me feel better to spend time with you when I'm not feeling very good. Um, but yeah, whenever, uh, whenever you can, pronouns, go ahead and drop that in chat. Uh, and everybody, just thank you, really, truly. Please don't hesitate to follow me on Twitter to make sure that you know when I'm going live. Join the Discord, um, and we'll start... I, once the Discord starts being active again, I will start being active in the Discord again. I know that that's, like, a horrible fucking proposition for you, uh, because it just... It's too much for me to check a dead Discord every day and <laughs> see that my Discord that used to thrive is now dead. So anyway, sorry. That's my need and my damage. I love you guys. I will send you to somebody very fun. I'll see you tomorrow.